Good morning, Steph and Ryan. Yes, I am here with the Deputy Director of Cultural Affairs, Keith Morales. Keith, thanks so much for coming out this morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us out. Tulip Fest, the signature spring event mm -hmm. for the capital city. Every phenomenal. But this is an extra special year, 75 years. Anything in addition planned this year to celebrate the Dutch heritage and, and what this has meant to the city? Oh yeah, we've had, uh, throughout the week, we've had a lot of Tula Festival events at Nine Pin, um, at Rocks, you know, just celebrating the 75th. Uh, the mayor's office has been, uh, been out and about all over doing trivia, doing karaoke. Um, the mayor of Nijmegen is coming into town to visit. So we have a lot of big things. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we know and business. You have at least 100 artists that come into town and show their works. Tell us what people can expect. And I know it's not just that. There's a fine art show as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have over uh, 18 art vendors. We have 80-plus uh, craft vendors just making their own beautiful uh, items. We have 40-plus uh, nonprofits. You know, we're, it's so many people. It's, it's bigger than we have in the last couple of years. It's pretty amazing. Fantastic. And live entertainment is a huge part of this. You've got Two stages, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have two. Uh, the local stage, the 518 stage, right at the lake house. We show showcase 518 talent, in which we have so much. Grounds. Uh, we have Gus on Saturday and American Authors on Sunday. Fantastic. Yeah. Park Playhouse, yeah. Washington Parks yeah. group that works so hard for theater. You have previews that they put on some performances as well for the public. Oh, absolutely. So at 2 p.m. on both days, they're going to be featuring two of their hottest shows this this summer. Pelham and we have our part partners, so many different people performing. We have free yoga as well in the new wellness stage that we have right, right in the, the kids' hot yoga spot. Yeah, right? exactly. We have that on Sunday for all the moms and dads who want to join. We have free yoga, so it's going to be exciting. Let's talk about that a little bit. You mentioned Mother's Day, and what's so great about this event is that you always make sure that it happens on Mother's Day weekend because with the family. Beyond that, there's a special person recognized every Mother's Day at the Tulip Fest. Talk about that a little bit and what it means. Yeah, the community votes for the best mom ceremony hosted by Times Union every Sunday. So 12 o'clock, you can head to the Lake House stage and you can see who the best mom is. Obviously, all the moms are great, but you know, one gets voted the best one of the year. They all deserve credit. And the Tulip Queen Coronation happens as well. I know that's tomorrow and they do so many community projects. So much this festival has to offer. Keith, Appreciate your Thank time. You so Thank much. you so much for coming in. It is going to be a fantastic event this year. All right, we'll send it back to you guys.